Now this week in your workshop, you are going to be looking at taking the content descriptors and relating them to a lesson activity. And in particular, we're going to be using 3D printing pens, um, which are little pens, a little bit like a glue gun, which extrudes glue. But in this case, they extrude plastic. So they work in a similar way to 3D printers, but 3D printers tend to take a lot longer and a little bit more cumbersome. So um, we use the 3D pens as something that um, students can engage with and learn similar concepts around engineering and structures and properties that we want students to understand. So again, it's not the use of the technology, in this case 3D printing pens, that is the focus of the learning. The focus of the learning is students learning about different properties of materials and how we can create things with different materials that will have different strengths depending upon how we structure that um, and that the different materials that we use can have different properties in relation to what we create. So that's the content descriptor. The activity, the elaboration that we're using to explore that content descriptor is around creating um, animals, little model animals using the 3D pens. And I've given you some videos and some um, documents to have a look at to explore how you're going to do that with your tutor in the workshops. So review those and explore that before your workshop so that you can come along prepared to be able to make wonderful creations in your workshop and relate those to the content descriptors. So that is your main focus for this week. And while I've given you examples for relating it to design and technology content descriptors, for your second um, challenge, I want you to see if you can find in the digital technologies curriculum how a similar activity or the same activity could address not just design and technology content descriptors, but also digital technology content descriptors. So think about the content descriptors that are available. It's for the younger years, so focus in on that and see what of those content descriptors may be achieved through such an activity. Because that's what you do as a teacher. You think about your activities that you want to do for your students and how they're going to address various content descriptors. Or you do it in the reverse. You look at the content descriptors you need to achieve and you try and find activities that are going to match those. So have fun in the workshop and I look forward to seeing the images of your wonderful 3D printed animals as they are created.